Hey, it's Brian Valentine. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to uncover and evaluate a profitable niche. You see, finding a good niche is the most important thing when you start any campaign. And I can't emphasize this enough how important it is. It's the foundation of any successful strategy. You can do everything else right and have the most powerful piece of software at your disposal. But if you select the wrong niche, unfortunately, you'll fail. For example, you might select a good niche with a mediocre landing page and you could still convert and you might still be profitable. But one thing is for absolute certain. It's that if you pick the wrong niche, no matter how good your landing page is, no matter which piece of SEO software program you're using, there's a very good possibility and a very high probability that you won't succeed. So it's just vital to your success as an affiliate marketer. So with that said, I'm about to give you a step-by-step look over my shoulders example of exactly how i go about finding a profitable niche so with se nuke open of course let's go ahead and click on new campaign to start our campaign and for this video i'm just going to choose digital cameras go ahead and check the checkbox right here next to make this campaign a rude campaign and then click on save campaign Next, what we want to do is click on new niche research and let's double click on that to open up a new niche research project. Now, let's take a moment to talk more about a profitable niche. I know when I first got started with Internet marketing back in 2001, I thought that all of the gurus were holding back on me when they spoke about niche selection. And back then it was really tough because the only keyword tool that we had at our disposal was inventory.overture.com remember so that made it increasingly difficult to drill down and find the niche jackpot as i like to call it i like to think of keyword research as the niche jackpot and that's because the term jackpot is a term that's referenced in gambling and it describes something that's tough to achieve statistically speaking so many people think of niche selection just like as if they were pulling down on the slot machine arm and getting lucky and sometimes hitting that jackpot. But anyone who is experienced in this business knows that that's not the case. Niche selection isn't just random. It's more like that movie 21 about those six MIT students who were counting cards. They didn't win every time. However, by counting cards, they increased their chances of winning by knowing the odds. You can basically apply the same knowledge to your niche selection. It's no accident that the same super affiliates that you hear about continue to pick good niches and win. So what I'm about to show you is how to improve your skills and increase your chances of winning. You see, it takes the same amount of time an effort to build an unsuccessful business online as it does to build a successful business. And the biggest factor that determines whether you succeed or fail are the market that you choose and the keywords that you target. So let's go ahead and head back on over to the niche research project and let's enter in a keyword to research. And for this video, let's just use digital cameras. Go ahead and click on the search for and then keywords on Google's keyword tool. A capture dialog box is going to pop up. However, I always just cancel out of this and just sign in directly into my Google AdWords account. And the reason for that is because if you aren't logged in, Google will not show you the full set of ideas for your keyword searches and you could really miss out on some low hanging fruit. So I always just sign in. Now, once you're signed in, let's go ahead and click on search for and then keywords on Google keyword tool again. And what this does is SE Nuke will then transfer the keyword that was in the keyword to research box over to the word or phrase box and it automatically searches for us. So let's just go ahead and sort our global monthly searches from ascending to descending order. 
we need to make sure that all of the keywords with the most searches appear within the top 100 results. And you'll see why in just a moment. And now over here on the left, let's enter in our core keyword in the include term box and click on this plus symbol. And you should also note that there is a difference between a singular and a plural keyword. So let's enter in digital camera also. Now let's scroll to the bottom and let's make sure that we're showing 100 rows. SCNU grabs every keyword off that page. So if we had left it at 50, then we would only be able to get the first 50 keywords. So we're gonna max this out to 100. Now, let's scroll back up and let's check this checkbox right here to select the first 100 results and click on download and then select it 100. Go ahead and click on download again. A file dialog box is going to open. Let's just go ahead and open it. Now let's copy our first 100 keywords and then we're gonna head back on over to SE Nuke. Let's dismiss this small download dialog box window and paste our first 100 results back into Google AdWords keyword tool in the word or phrase box. Check only show ideas closely related to my search term. Now we wanna select exact match only and hit the search button. Now, Let's click on advanced options and let's filter our local monthly searches. And let's shoot for keywords that's bringing in at least 500 local monthly searches. And we're gonna add another filter here. And this time we're gonna filter by low competition and hit search. Now let's sort the global monthly searches column from biggest to smallest again and make sure that our high volume keywords appear on that first page, remember? And let's click on copy keywords for batch research. After SE Nuke snatches those 100 keywords, let's click on find competition. Once it's finished analyze those keywords, let's expand the batch research window just a little bit so that we can see all of the columns and sort the Google results from lowest to highest. And let's eyeball this a little bit. So what I'm looking for here is something in the extremely easy, easy, doable, or not the easiest category. And these categories are defined as follows. Don't waste your time is 10,000 or more competing pages. Difficult is 5,000 or more competing pages. Could be tough is 3,000 or more. Not the easiest is 1,500 or more. Doable is 750 and up. Easy is 275 and up, and anything below that is extremely easy. So you would select the first item in the list and then hold down Control plus Shift and then select the last, not the easiest, if there was one. If not, just go down your list like extremely easy, easy, doable, and not the easiest. Once it's highlighted, you can double right click to copy the keywords to the clipboard and then click OK. Now we need to get rid of some of these weird characters that SE Newt adds to the keywords. So let's open up a notepad and control V to paste. Highlight the open bracket, the open curly brace, and this list view item. Copy that. Go to edit, replace. And we wanna paste those characters in and replace it with nothing. Just leave that blank. Now click on replace all. Next, we need to remove the close bracket and the close curly brace and cancel out of the replace dialog box. Copy those keywords. Head on back to Google AdWords editor. Paste them into the word or phrase box. 
make sure that we've got exact match and that only show ideas closely related to my search terms box is checked and click on search. Now, the best keyword to me looks like best digital camera under 100. It has 1000 local monthly searches. It has a trend graph and there's already competitors bidding on this in Google AdWords, which means this keyword must be profitable for them. Now, am I going to stop here and just pick this keyword and go off running, building landing pages and firing backlinks edit? Nah, of course not. Plus, for those of you guys who've seen my teaching style before, know that when I teach, I like to teach up. Meaning I can't give you just morsels and nibbles and leave things out or expect you to figure out the rest on your own. So let's click on our winning keyword so far, which will open up a browser window. And over here on the left, click on more search tools and then click on related searches. And Google will display the top related searches for our keyword. So let's go ahead and copy those keywords and paste them back into the word or phrase box. And click on search. Now, you can see that we've gotten even better results. Now, copy this final winner. And paste it back into SE Nuke. And select the end title and an anchor competition type and click on check competition. And we see that it's only five competing pages with our exact keyword in the title and in the URL. So this keyword is looking real sexy to me. And with an age domain.